Welcome to the start of my spring break vlog. I am so excited. I don't think I had a proper spring break last year. This week is officially our spring break. We started our road trip at 9 a.m. and it's 11 and we just stopped at a Starbucks in Ventura. I got a brown sugar shake and espresso. 10 out of 10, my favorite. And then I also got a sausage breakfast sandwich. I've never had these until a couple days ago because I was vegan for so long. I would just get the impossible sandwich and then I switched to the bacon and I was like, you know what? Let me give this a try and look key I'm obsessed Like I think I'm addicted and I'm gonna eat this until I get sick of it We are driving to Monterey Bay, which is probably gonna be another four or five hours That's where we're gonna spend our spring break But before we do that, we're gonna stop in Solvang, which is like a Swedish town in California We'll spend some time there and then we'll finish our road trip off with Monterey Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's get into our vacation so after another hour of driving through the mountains, we finally made it to Solvang. This honestly reminded me of Disney World and it felt like I was in the ride, It's a Small World. <laughs> that was the vibe that I was getting, but it was very magical and I ended up buying a postcard for my parents. We always send each other postcards wherever we travel. I went ahead and wrote them a little letter and then we ended up eating at a Danish place. We shared some pork stuffed with prunes with a side of mashed potatoes, applesauce, cabbage, pickles. It was really interesting. But then after that, I needed my sweet treat. So we stopped at the Solvang Bakery and I got myself an apple danish and it was everything that I was craving and more. It was so soft and sweet and fruity. It was honestly a really great day. So let's skip ahead to the next morning where our vacation really starts. Good morning, guys. Today we woke up in Seaside, which is very close to Monterey Bay, maybe like 10 minutes. And I'm getting ready. I don't know if this is TMI, but I have a enormous pimple on my chin and it's kind of really bothering me, but it's my fault for touching it yesterday when I should not have. I need to do my eyeliner. Just give me one second. I've been using this Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner, but I kind of want to switch back to the Kat Von D one because this one does kind of bleed a little bit and it comes off if I'm like sweating and stuff. I love doing my pencil liner like from the outer corner up to the middle because it makes my eyes look bigger. I've always loved putting on pencil liner, but when I was younger, I would do the entire eye and it would just make my eyes look really small. So this is my new eyeliner look. I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's really good, but it is super hard to take off. You just gotta pick and choose your battles, you know what I mean? My current lip combo is this Rimmel lip liner in the shade Brownie Pie, and then a clear lip gloss. Also by Rimmel, it's just like the Madame Web edition. <laughs> Makeup is done. This has kind of been my go-to look anytime I go out. Also guys, my bangs are no longer banging. I have come to terms with the fact that they are simply too long because every time I try to style them, they just swoop off to the side. So I'm living bang free, I guess. Do I like it? No. Did I make a hair appointment already? Yes, I did. So we'll be back in action in no time. Let's assemble our outfit. I already have a long black sleeve, just a long black skirt but I need to add my accessories. I packed all my jewelry in my Glossy A bag. We have this flower chain belt. I just got it off Amazon, but I think it'd be cute with this. Also my evil eye necklace. And I have these two rings. I think they're onyx. These are the ones that I always wear. They kind of go with everything. I think this looks cute. I put on my Chelsea boots. These are literally the only shoes I brought. I'm definitely gonna wear a sweater and then my puffer coat on top. just left Lover's Point and we saw sea lions jumping through the ocean which was so cool um, and I can't resist but to go get a nice coffee. I found a store that's like half bookshop half coffee shop so it's definitely calling my name. Our 
Next stop is the Fisherman's Wharf because we just can't resist the ocean. Also, my coffee order today was an iced latte with butter pecan syrup, 10 out of 10. And I'm drinking regular milk now. So let's go to the wharf. I'm so excited. Today is Monday and today is our Carmel day. This is what I based the entire trip around. It is what I'm most excited for. I went to Carmel when I was like 14. I did a whole like California road trip with my parents and the very little memories I have include Carmel and I remember being like so stunned at this little town. So I'm so excited to go back. My hair is dirty today so I curled it and I put a little headband. We have a knit sweater plus my little ripped BCB jeans. I was not feeling the fit today but as soon as I put on the sweater I started to feel like an art student. Now I feel good and confident. Let's head out. spent the last couple hours doing the 17 mile drive and now I need my dose of coffee. We are going to be trying Carmel Valley Roasters. It has like four and a half stars on Google which to me is wonderful. Let's see what Carmel has to offer with their coffee. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare. I kind of wanna upgrade from this headband to the like two little clips that you put at the front for the bangs. Let's have a little recap session while we do our skincare. First, I'm gonna use this Dennis Gross Vitamin C Serum. I actually haven't used this, but I've had it for a while. That is so fun. So my spring break overall was super, super fun. I just love going on vacation, road tripping, exploring. Oh God, why am I like orange right now? Okay, I'm using it properly. I don't know what is happening. Literally, what is going on? Let's move on. Living in Miami, it's hard to road trip anywhere because it takes so long to actually get out of the state. But here in California, there's just so much to see in every direction. I was just really happy to be exploring. Next, I'm gonna use the serum that APLB sent me. I think my favorite part of the trip was Monterey Bay. It is just so gorgeous and to see the ocean with the rock formations. The neighborhoods were really beautiful. A lot of like colorful beach houses. We went to Lover's Point. I'm just a big nature fan obviously. Getting to see the ocean with mountains and rocks was really really cool. And can I tell you guys some tea right now? The actual like town of Carmel was really nice but I hyped it up in my head from having seen it as a young girl. It was nice, but I also rate my vacation spots based on the fact if I would live there. Carmel is just a little 
to three. I don't know if that's the right word. I was hearing some weird conversations, guys. I was hearing some rich people and the rich people problems. I aspire to complain about rich people things someday, but the culture is not something that I would want to be around. However, the 17 mile drive was insane. It was just so much forest with the beach right there. That was really, really cool. I also didn't know that you have to pay like $12 just to get into Carmel. That was really funny. I was like, are you kidding me? But I guess that's how they keep their economy going. Actually, the coffee place there, Carmel Valley Roasters, was really good. I got like a marshmallow white mocha drink with homemade whipped cream. It was definitely a sugar bomb, but it was really delicious. It was my favorite coffee that I had on the trip. It was supposed to rain really hard that whole weekend, but in Monterey, the sun came out, which was amazing. And we're actually gonna go to Palm Desert this weekend, which will be in another vlog that I probably won't post for like another month because I have other videos planned ahead. It's gonna be my birthday soon. My birthday is April 30th, so I'm gonna be doing a birthday wrap, glow up, birthday vlog, of course. Also guys, this is the body lotion that I've been using. It's just by Method. I've been trying to find a body lotion that smells good, but isn't Bath & Body Works. I'm just kind of over that. And this one is a 10 out of 10. I use the body wash as well. And my last step to being fresh for the day is warm vanilla sugar perfume. This is from Bath & Body Works. I always like to use body sprays when I'm just at home or like running errands. And then when I actually go out, I'll use a nicer perfume like my Sol de Janeiro one. I'm gonna end my spring break vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I freaking appreciate it and I love you guys so much. Leave a comment on what you're doing this spring break. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.